Dean, a terrific result, your thoughts? Look, obviously, first half, too many players way off the pace. Uh, we were physically bullied. My biggest disappointment first half was that we didn't control the game with the ball well enough. A control in possession, a turnover, without them really making loads of challenges. Their sort of tactic was to get it into the channel, seeking to get corners and throw-ins, long throw-ins, and, uh, and hurt us that way. When you play against teams, like, you've got to keep, keep, keep the ball in play as long as you can. And uh, I thought our dominance in possession was, was really poor, especially with the standards we've set this season. And I don't think people did themselves justice in the first half. Some players had an unbelievable opportunity today uh, with the injuries we have, and they didn't take it. Uh, we can't have that every week. That just reminds me of last season. Obviously, going in at 2-0 half-time, but a magnificent turnaround. What was the message to the lads at half-time? We were just calm at half-time. Um, sort of questioned a few of the players. You know, Do they understand what we want from them? Do they understand what we want from the game? Showed them clips. Obviously, we've got, we've got our own video, so we show clips at half-time of where we need to do better, where we can hurt them. Um, and tactically, they were better second half. Um, I, mean, I thought we dealt with their physicality better second half. The only thing I would be disappointed in the second half, when we got 3 2 up, they two or three really good efforts on a goal. There was one where I think Laurie should just come sweep and put the fire out, and they get, they get a long throw off the back of it. Um, just things like that, they have to be better. You know, we've raised the bar. Like, there's no way we should be dealing with that. You should be just out picking the ball up. Happy days, the fire's out. Um, when we have a high line especially and I thought we squeezed them really well and then obviously they had a couple of entries where Marv was naive coming off the bench so naive so I'm frustrated with the things that are flashing back in my head right now I'm frustrated because the signs I want to see today in character as a team was excellent and the same players that have been in the team stepped up to the plate with that heart again um, Akimo uh, Collins but some of the other players like Kabamba um, some of the other blunt, some of the other players haven't reached that level this season and they're going to have to reach that level because if not, I'm afraid in this business you have to shake hands and I'm really, really, really frustrated with some of the performances. I think we've got to, we've got to do much better, especially against a team where you can get into their back line so easy if your possession's good. Someone who did have a good performance today was Callum Stead. You brought him on at half-time. thought he had a real good impact on that second half. Yeah, look, we felt they tired. That was always the tactic to come here, sort of keep it tight-ish, dominate the ball, if, which we usually do. Um, obviously we didn't do that second half so Steady was going to come on on the hour mark no matter what and run the channels against their older centre halves um, who lack athleticism really um, and that was sort of the plan to get him on and, and, and duck in there we had to put him on early and to be fair he had a huge impact on the game so um, he could have had a couple of goals himself as well he got in some good areas but once again his quality needs to improve you know realistically with the opportunities we had in the second half we could have scored five or six we shouldn't be hanging on at the end like so little things like that like we want to raise the bar, we've got to be better. And if we're going to go to the full hog this season, we have to be way better when we come here. Danny Collins has had a terrific season so far. He'd have been disappointed like a lot of the lads at half-time to be 2-0 down, but second half, the winner and an assist. Great from him. Yeah, he's got quality, Danny. I've said half -time. He was another player where I felt he was below, below his levels that he set first half. So, showed good character, good kid. Um, obviously completed a run, great cross in for the first goal. Uh, completed a run the second one and got a second phase in the box. Um, but he's a leader, Danny. You know, we'd have no issue giving Danny, Danny Collins the armband. He's becoming a leader. I think it's, it's his tour's year in senior football. Um, he had a year at Dover, a year, a year was last year and this year. So he's a player we believe a lot in. I think he's, he's a fine player and hopefully he'll, uh, he'll stay with us for a long time. A name that fans would have been surprised to see on the team sheet today was Sam Beard. I think he came in today, he got the TNT man of the match today. How did you think of his performance today? I thought he was poor, I have to be honest with you. I told him at half time, I thought he gave us no quality. Um, Sam Beard is a committed lad, he'd give his all, but I can't keep on the side having to play the whole game from. him. He has to do more, he knows I've had that conversation with him, and I don't know who give him the man the match, I'd be surprised at that, I've got to be honest with you. Maybe because it was the block that he made when we were uh, when we were 2-0 down. And look, he's committed, he'll give his all, but we need more quality from our wing-backs, and I thought Idris' quality was poor as well today. Um, we need to do better in them positions, uh, simple as that. I thought we missed Reese Hall Johnson crazily today, his pace running behind, we missed Addy. You know, two big players for us. So, yeah, I didn't think he was. I didn't think either of the wing backs were good today. At no phase, I've got to be honest with you. And Reece Hall, John, I'm assuming by your answer there, you picked up an injury. Yeah, he's got a hamstring. Yeah, he's, we took him off for a hamstring. Do you not remember that? You're not. I mean, honestly, um, look. Yeah, he's injured. Addy's injured. Uh, yeah, they're massive players for us, and we need to. Uh, we might need to recruit a little bit and bring some players in. Um, I just can't have that every week, conceding two goals the way it is. Um, I have to be real with you. I know everyone's excited. My job is to make sure 
we do the business. Um, and the standards we set today are just nowhere near good enough. Um, we should be coming in and controlling the game better from minute one all the way through against a team that let you in. Now, fair play to them, first half. They got I thought Taylor for them was outstanding, by the way. He run in the midfield. I thought he was man in the match, I have to be honest with you. Um, in the end, Hartigan got control of the game for a second half. Um, and we were just better second half without being brilliant. I, have to be honest, I thought we were okay second half. I didn't think we were sensational. So I thought we played way better this season. Dean, thank you for your time.